What lures mankind deep into the heart of the jungle? Is it the hope for a new cure to disease? Eureka! The cure for all diseases! <laughs> <laughs> His unquenchable thirst for adventure. We should be home watching the Nature Channel. Or is it simply for some fun girl time? Decorating coconuts? Can I do one? Magnolia. I needed some girl time, so I thought I would hang out with these orangutans who are not very ladylike and have no sense of color. George thinks maybe Magnolia needs to be stronger. <laughs> George, I'm pretty strong. <laughs> okay. If Magnolia follows George's simple 19-step plan, you too can look like this. Is one of your steps gonna include getting me out of this bush? Hey, Abe, are these heavy enough to use for weights? <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Drawing up a workout plan for Magnolia? George will start with a warm-up, followed by, uh, hmm. <sighs> Exercise? Ooh, oh, that's good. Finally, someone to teach George's jungle fitness secrets to. Ooh, what are your secrets, George? Yep, can't tell you. They're secret. <laughs> what? Is the hut on fire? Oh, did it burn my new lip gloss? A fan at him! Time for Magnolia's first Be Like George workout! <laughs> I'm up, I'm up. Uh, you wanted to be stronger. Let's get stronger. Can putting on mascara count as a warm up? First exercise is Tiger Run. What? Will we run and pretend that we're tigers or something? Oh, <laughs> no, that would be crazy. <laughs> it's where we run quick before the tigers eat us. <laughs> Okay, with this exercise, you should feel a stretch in your legs. What about the pressure I feel on my hands and feet? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's normal. 10, 1,011, 1,000, oh, 1,012. No, oh, oh, wait, okay, start again. George, get me down from here. <laughs> and rest. Okay, good job, stretch it out. Next exercise, upside down vine climbing. Hmm, I pass. But we're only halfway done with our morning warm up. No, exercise just in for me. All this moving around, it's exhausting. There must be an easier way. I quit. No more be like George coconut recipes. No more be like George energy bars. No more. Be like George Whistle. Are you sure you want to give up everything? Yes, except be like George bike shorts. They're very comfy. So, you want to be strong? Yes. But you don't want to do any of the hard work. Right. How do you feel about taking baths? Now we're talking. Is that a mud bath? <clears throat> you see, once the warm mud has opened your pores, these 100% partly natural cellular level muscle mutation agents attack your bloodstream. That sounds dangerous. Yes, but it works very fast. Hmm. I usually have something fizzy and perfumey in my bath. Lavender bath ball? Mmm. But don't soak too long. It's still experimental, and there might be some slight side effects.
what you need is another client, like this large gorilla. Uh, you look different. Uh, new, new haircut? Like George's workout is on. Oh. George worked out too easy! <gasps> so, how did Magnolia enjoy day two of the Be Like George workout program? <laughs> George thinks she got a lot out of it! <laughs> Dinner! Oh, it looks like someone is uh, hungry. <laughs> Let me just get you a fork. Uh-oh, time for my bath. You could use some scrubbing. Can I borrow your loofah? Don't hurt me. I'm too furry. Magnolia? Uh. Hmm. Uh. One more bath. I don't think it's such a good <laughs> idea. Our best hope for a cure lies in this pool. These chemicals, in conjunction with the water's high sailing count, will cause anyone that goes into it to shrink. <laughs> ah! Observe. <laughs> Find a way to get her into the pool. Back off, boys! It's girl time! Magnolia, why are you doing this? I can hang out with anyone I want now. But who wants to hang out with you when you're like this? Quiet! Magnolia will now do your hair all pretty. Ah, ow. Oh. Hey, hey, easy. Oh, your hair's a little dry. I might have to snip off these ends. We've got to get Magnolia to that shrinking pool. Or soon, Ursula's hair will look awful. Hey, hey, easy. What's that smell? Strawberry cotton candy? Ah! Ooh, lip gloss. Pretty. <laughs> More lip gloss. Maraschino cherry. Peppermint candy cane. Caramel latte. Cinnamon red hot. Peanut butter mocha. So pretty. Vanilla frosting. Oh, my favorite. How do you feel? Like a beautiful cake. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like George's workout plan worked after all. <laughs> I think there are some pretty cool orangutans you can learn all about the wonderful world of lip gloss. Ah, just what George needed. A nice bath. <laughs> It's afternoon in the jungle, when all the animals settle in for a nap. Ouch! 
Except what? Woohoo! 50 points! George, what are you doing? Playing a new game George invented. What game? Whack a pal? It's called throw, kick, hit stuff. But I guess stuff could include pals. Pal! 40 points! 10 points off since you were standing right in front of me. It was easy. Super. I think I'll go take my nap inside where I'm safe. Ow! Yeah! <sighs> Uh, oh, good, you're awake. George just figured out how two people can play throw, kick, hit stuff. Great. Now you just need to find someone to play with you. Please. It can go first. After me. Bye. Uh, 500 points. Eight's unnatural. I am? Yeah, but you'll have to score a lot more to catch up with the throw, kick, hit stuff champion. Give me that nut. So, George, how many points is different stuff worth? Well, trees are only worth 10 points, because they don't move. Squirrel is worth 100 points. How come I was only worth 50 points? Apes is slower target. <laughs> Tookie's worth 10,000 points. Very hard to hit. <laughs> hey, I did it! So that's 10,000 points for me, right? Oh, it uh, doesn't count. The nut only touched his tongue. Oh. How much is Tukey's tongue worth? <sighs> 50,000 points. Admits, Ape's been very, very lucky. Or maybe very, very, very better than you. Well, this next event separates the Georges from the Apes. Bring it on. Hit the crocodile's back. 100,000 points. Mm. <gasps> but, uh, but no fair. You stepped over the line. What line? Uh, that one. You're just jealous because I'm better than you. <gasps> George is not jealous. First one to get to the village is not jealous. Oh. Where are you going? To play whack roll putt. Take afternoon off. I told you it's called golf. And I told you that is not a real word. I tell you it isn't. What you making? It's my jungle porridge. It's breakfast time for a certain patient. <laughs> Please, haven't I been through enough? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Not jealous first! <laughs> hey, what is that? A cake? <laughs> Ooh, cake! First one to eat all the batter wins! <laughs> Chisel! <laughs> no offense, Ursula, but that cake is terrible! Water, please. Hey, George can rinse better than eight. Ow! I'm burning! George can burn better. <laughs> George is better at burning. I don't know. Butt versus foot. I'd have to go with the butt. Tough call, though. Uh -huh. uh, if you guys are going to compete uh -huh. over everything, it needs to be organized. Lucky for you, I went to sleep over referee camp. I'll be the head cheerleader. Give me an A. Give me a George. Hope you don't fall into a gorge. Oh, that's good. Uh -huh. Of contests. I wish he could go back to just hanging out with Ape. 
George will let Ape win next game and be winner once and for all. Oh, and don't tell him. <sighs> Tukey, I miss hanging out with George. Maybe I should just lose the next game and let him be the winner once and for all. Yeah, but don't tell him. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, these contests are so boring. Totally. I wish they would pick a game that's fun for us. <laughs> the next contest is the Build Ursula a Hot Tub Contest. And then organize Magnolia Stuffed Animals Contest. Fine. And begin. <gasps> These are hot tubs? Try George's first. Um... I don't think so. Ooh, George loses. Wait, but try mine. How is this a hot tub? Oops, did you say hot? Oh darn, I lose. Mm. Oh, I can't wait to see all the stuff in <gasps> George did that. George loses. No, I did, and I lose. Call that trying to beat each other? What happened to that winner takes all spirit? Well, George wanted to lose. No, I wanted to lose. Hey, I'm a bigger loser. No, I'm a bigger loser. No! Wait! Are y'all having a losing contest? Yes! Oh. Well then, may this man lose. No! <sighs> okay. Magnolia will show you some casts of animal tracks. Nice! From Ursula's lovely dry jungle porridge. And <clears throat> the contestant with the lowest score wins and is the biggest loser. Okay, let's play. First plaster cast. Lion! One point for George. Darn! This is gonna be tough. Okay, next question. Boa constrictor! Oops! Oh, I got it right again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's time for the final bonus question. Worth ten points. <laughs> ah, a mouse! Mouse is correct. George is the biggest loser. Congratulations! Thank you. Well... Hard not losing, but you lost fair and square, so I can't complain. Uh, Time for one final contest. Didn't we already have the final contest? <laughs> Gotta have one more contest! One more contest! Okay, I hope it's something relaxing. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah! Brand new game! Throw cake hits slippery fruit onto Worm's tail. Whoever throws a piece of slippery fruit and hits Earthworm's tail wins! Forever! Uh, no more winners ever again! Uh, Ape, go first! Uh, go! Ouch! Ah, perfect! Oh, that's gonna be tough to beat. Probably impossible. <laughs> Ape wins! Just a minute, George. Officially, your fruit is still moving. <laughs> no, down! Put the fruit down! Just eat it for crying out loud! <laughs> hey, Hawk, stop by! I'll catch you! No, 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 no! Ouch! No! Why do good things always happen to George? You hit it! Uh, looks like a tie. We're gonna have to have another contest. George is never competing again! Same here. I say we keep the two pieces of fruit to remind us. Agreed! Hmm, hello! Slippery fruit! Hey, that's our fruit! We need it to remind us not to compete! Hmm. Compete, eh? Sounds like fun. How about a pouch rice? A pouch rice? What's that? 
I think I'm gonna barf. Yeah, George will barf more. Oh, no, you won't. No, really, I will. In the jungle, no sight is sweeter than a new mama bird and her new baby bird egg. <laughs> Especially if you're a hungry snake. Alarm clock is the best gift Ape ever gave George. I didn't give that to you. That monkey just doesn't like you. Yeah. Hmm? Hey, an egg. Ooh, an egg. Well, let's see. We could have some omelets or a frittata. No, George must have laid this egg last night. Did you just say you laid an egg? Yup, a man egg. Hmm. How can I explain this? Ah, I know. You can't lay an egg. I can talk like an animal. I can smell like an animal. Ugh. Why can't you believe I can lay an egg like an animal? How about the fact that you're a guy, huh? How about that? George is going to take care of man egg. And when a little George comes out of it, we'll see which one of us looks like that overgrown monkey. Fine. But an egg is delicate. You're worse than a water buffalo in a china shop. Mm. What beautiful craftsmanship. <laughs> Man egg, come. No, oh. oh. <laughs> he's just tired. Oh. That's better. Oh, can I see the baby? Hi there, cutie. I'm Magnolia, your pretty aunt. And that is Ursula. She's your other aunt. Uh, George, I think that diaper is kind of unnecessary. Oh, time for potty training already? No, I mean, I don't think an egg needs that much attention. Sure, just sit on it till it hatches. Ooh, I just can't wait to see a whole man come out of that egg. That egg! <laughs> what? <gasps> George just thinking about all the fun he'll have with little George. <laughs> what if it's a girl? Oh. Uh, a girl? Uh. <laughs> <gasps> a bleak for help. George has to go. But what about your egg? Uh, George will take it with him. You can't take a delicate little egg with you. It's too dangerous. Uh, it's got to learn about rescue sometime. Also, long division. Very important. Help! Help! Okay, one moment. <sighs> nope. Uh, hmm. Oh, nice and comfy. Ha, ha, ha.
There you go. Hey! Get away from that man egg! Remember, never to talk to Swap! was a gunner when that hyena found it. And it was just luck when George found it in that egg fruit grove. You lost it? George still can't believe it wasn't eaten by the vulture who took it. Oh, or smashed with clubs by the chimps. That's terrible. George, as king of the jungle, you have too many dangerous duties to take care of this egg. Oh. Okay. For safety of little George. <laughs> Magnolia, you're hogging the egg. Am not. Are so. Hey, I have a fun idea. Let's use this time to get to know each other a little better instead of arguing. Sometimes in the morning, George's breath smells like bologna. Okay. Go back to arguing. Am not. Are so. Am not. You are, 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 are. <laughs> George is so lonely without man egg. Am not. Are so. Am not. Are so. You know, Ape, you could stand to trim your toenails now and then. What are you talking about? They're scratching me. My toes are nowhere near you. Are so. Are not. Are so. Wait. Those aren't Ape's toenails. <gasps> it's hatching. It's not a man. It's a bird? Weird. Whoa! Get that semi-hatched egg! I hope it doesn't fall and break its shell! And I hope that hyena had lunch already! Where's the egg? Man egg, you're back! And you have feet! Wow. I guess he took better care of it than we thought. Well, sure. What you expect? I break it? <laughs> hey, you! Cookie, cookie! Hello, little George. Cookie, cookie! 
Oh, okay. Hello, Tookie Tookie. Oh, you're welcome. Tookie Tookie? Well, sure. Tookie Tookie can visit George whenever he wants. And that's the story of how George met Tookie. <laughs> High above the jungle, a plane suddenly loses altitude. We've got to lighten our load. Don't even think about it. I spent all morning making that 10 pound sandwich. Then what? In the jungle below, George most dignified and kingly of heroes, wrestles with this latest obstacle. Huh? Hey, I can't see. Sure hope there aren't any. Oh. Trees. Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> you betcha. Thanks to this, it gave me good luck. Underpants on your head? <laughs> Ew. How was that lucky? <gasps> George didn't fall on Ursula and hurt her. Hmm. Well, yeah. I guess that is lucky. But, um, ew. Underpants. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> Lucky or what? Lucky? You landed head first in the termite mound. Aw, oh, but I'm making thousands of new friends. Ow! Hi! Ow! Hello! Hi there! And I owe it all to this! My lucky hat! Ow! I was on my way to get something to eat. You wanna come? <laughs> no thanks. Playing bite, bite, sting, sting with my new ow friends kinda wore me out. Uh huh. Maybe you should just try to. Sleep. Yeah. Lucky. 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 Hey, Howie. Hey, guys. Hey, ape! Yeah, give me the usual. Sprinkles? You know it. Feeling lucky? Guess how many ticks are in the jar and you... You win! <laughs> what do you win? A jar full of ticks. <gasps> oh. uh, be right back. You better be! You, you, you haven't paid! Lucky. <laughs> Lucky. Lucky. George, could uh, I just Lucky. borrow this? Just to test it. <laughs> Two thousand six hundred and... That's exactly right! The contest is over! You <laughs> win! Yes! This really is lucky! Oh. <laughs> I thought I'd never get rid of those ticks. Now to get rid of these leeches. <laughs> George, uh, I thought you were napping. A uh, 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 tick snack? You're probably wondering about this. Uh, I uh, borrowed it uh, because I uh, needed a little luck. Yeah, yeah. And and you know what? It worked. Uh, th this is lucky. I can't just hold on to it for a while. Fine. Let me do just one thing first. What? Run? <laughs> hey! Hey! This is my lucky backpack! It's a lucky hat! George, you're riding a razorback pig! Doesn't that hurt? Yes! Yeah. 
My good luck strikes again. Uh, hey, my ticks! <laughs> this isn't lucky. No! Tookie <laughs> Tookie, get lucky hat from A. Ah! Now bring hat to George. Ah, You've really got control of these animals, don't you, George? Yes. Thank you for noticing. Okay, okay. Oh, oh no, a leak, and I have nothing to plug it with. Help! Oh, what a cute handbag. I wonder if there's anything inside it to plug up this little old leak. Wait! <laughs> it worked! This is my lucky handbag! Oops! <laughs> Ursula! Look at my new lucky handbag! Ugh. Magnolia, that's somebody's undies. Oh, well, I don't care what you call it. This lucky handbag saved me from drowning, and then it led me to these beautiful flowers. There's no such thing as lucky underwear. How can you say that? Smell these. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hmm, that is lucky. I told you! <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> I will be, as soon as I get my lucky handbag back. You mean my lucky hat? No. <laughs> my lucky backpack! Hey! My handbag! <laughs> hey! Sorry, Megs. Not at first. Give me that! Hey, that's mine! Step away from the backpack. Give me that! It's a handbag and it's mine! What? Yeah. First, George found a hat. A lucky hat. But it's not making me feel so lucky anymore. George feels something George never felt before. Hmm. Not this. I know. George is mad at his friends. Me too. Us too. George going to get rid of it. He's right. I want to stay friends too. I'll get rid of it. I'm the one who cares about you all the most. I'll get rid of it. Oh, is this like a competition to see who likes everyone else the most? Because I'm in! I'll get rid of it! No, I said I was going to do it! We'll all get rid of it! Hmm. Let's take it somewhere so awful, we'll never be tempted to bring it back. The river of poisonous piranhas? <laughs> The cave of the spitting bats? <laughs> the valley of the stink pits! Gross! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We could take a picnic! <laughs> and so, our forthright foursome set forth to unload the unlucky undies. <laughs> they endured harsh rain, wind, <laughs> and for some reason, meat. <laughs> but through it all, their friendship kept them warm. <laughs> Magnolia! Snap out of it right now or I'll take away your underpants. <laughs> Same time? Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. 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 Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. One, two, three. Hey! We're gonna do oh, it! I'm gonna let go! What is it? Somebody didn't let go! It was me! None of us let go. Now look at us. <gasps> Somebody do something quick! 
Does anyone have a needle and thread? <laughs> Who carries around a needle and a thread? Will a staple gun work? What? They're really handy. <laughs> Everybody in! And so, against all odds, and physics, George of the Jungle proves true the old saying. It's not what you bring to the stink pits, it's what you do once you get there. Are the, uh, underpants gone? Looky, looky! Ducky, ducky! <laughs> Ah, the jungle at night. <laughs> Soothing. And jazzy. Bungles! <laughs> 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 Uh-oh! <laughs> I sincerely hope this is a bad dream. Uh, <laughs> it, George just want Ape to get good rest. <laughs> 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 Bongos! <laughs> but everyone in the jungle knows what Bongos do to me. Uh, Abe, stay here while George investigates. I tried telling him, George! Always open to another music lover. Yeah, but why isn't Big Mitch at the temple? Huh, sad story. Just when things were finally going good at the temple. Hey, quit hogging the cheese. I found my old set of bongos. Any requests? Ooh, ha -cha -cha. Guess you have to be alive to appreciate good music, huh? Uh, tossed out of my own ancient golden temple with nothing but my beloved bongos. <laughs> but for now, let's party! Uh, give it to me. <laughs> 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 uh. Bingo, bango, bongo time! I thought you were gonna take care of it. Oh, Big Mitch just got tossed out of his home. Don't worry, George has other plans. <laughs> Aha! I do not approve of this plan. But George, you can't solve all your problems by putting your friends in a block of cement. Why not? Ape can still talk, and George can feed him, and hold his book up so he can read, and... I have to go to the bathroom. Oh. What you want to do is distract Big Mitch with another instrument. George doesn't have any instruments. <clears throat> My voice is considered an instrument. By who? Me? supposed to take care of Mitch. Oh, Mitch taught me how to sing like a rock star. Isn't that so awesome? Gonna do it again. This means war. Bongo moisturized. 
Vaporizer. Keeps your bongo skin soft. How thoughtful! You can't stop a born entertainer from entertaining! This calls for the bicycle. What is that? What is that sound? It's called silence, George. And you better get used to it because that's the way it's gonna be from now on. <laughs> Here we go again! A one, and a two, and a three! Ape tipped over Big Mitch's tree? George, something had to be done. There were a lot of animals in that tree. Ah, it's better for them to find a new home where they don't have to listen to those awful bongos. Good, because George invited all the animals to come stay with us. Huh? Hello! What do you have to do to get some breakfast around here? Go. You're in my house, and I make the rules, and the first rule is no bongo playing. <laughs> These animals need a new tree. Any vacancies? Sure. Great. Are they available right away? I just need to do a background check, get references clean, and rebark. Oh, and no marmosets. <laughs> Named Mitch. <sighs> oh, whoa! Big tree? How come George not smack into it before? It looks empty, George. Do you know what this means? Uh, George gets his own bed back? <laughs> Sorry, Big Mitch no can do this. That's too bad. Because if you do move into this tree, you can have your bongos back. Oh! Yeah, give me my bongos! Yeah, uh, uh, tree first, then bongos. Slick. Very slick. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> <Whoa -hoo>! Yeah! Ah, <laughs> <sighs> peace and quiet at last. We can't stand the bongos anymore! All oh, this evicting gets me in a partying mood! Can I get a what, what? Holla! Get him! <gasps> oh, <dear. laughs> okay, fellas, we can work this out. I mean, you wouldn't hurt a musician, would you? No! <laughs> <laughs> now see what you did? If you just... <laughs> we told you we don't want you and your annoying bongos in this temple anymore. I am offended, sir. My drum thingy playing is one of the highest caliber. Hey, cut that out! 
Huh? How do you do that? Every time I hear bongos and ape loves to dance. Great exercise for mummies, too. My bandages are getting a little tight. That looks like fun. Let me try. I love it. Keep playing. Here we go. Holla! <laughs> <laughs> this is fun! George should get instrument! No bongos! Uh, George? George! George! The smallest members of the jungle are all so fragile. Knife. They're vulnerable. Towel. They're blueberries in George's famous pancake castle. George, the natives are getting hungry. <laughs> Mashed banana to hold strawberry guards at attention. Check. Coconut wrap so raisin peasants don't sink in the syrup moat. Check and check. Maybe we could just nibble. No, George always waits for us. <sighs> Eat at certain times, my hair gets frizzy. <laughs> Tuki, no snacking until George joins us. Almost finished. Show time! <laughs> A cry for help. I think it was just the wind. Quick cry. Probably a quick help. Be right back. Cut. Don't eat yet. Wait for George. Mm. Ew, that was a close one. No, no, I need believable. Only a fool would think that was a real cry for help. Yeah. Uh, who needs help? Well, he believed it. Well, he isn't the director. Again. Help! Don't worry, little rhino. George, take you to the doctor. Now, do you prefer regular or which? Put down my actor. We are trying to rehearse my new play. A cry for help. Rhino is actor? <laughs> it's only been 15 minutes. That's over three hours in monkey stomach years. Direct to say I'm not talented. I wowed him in Parrots on Ice. You played a parrot on skates. How is that acting? They gave my part to a rhino. A parrot in peril is more believable than a rhino. Listen. I help. I'm not buying it. <laughs> Who needs help? See? Huh? Huh? The only thing here that needs help is his acting. There's no trouble? Okay. George has to get back to Hungry Friends. George, would you eat up the jungle? Oh, oh. hi, ma'am. Oh, how sweet of you to remember. <laughs> what did I remember? Oh, that I invited you to come over and look at my family album. Oh, come in, come in. But the raisins will sink in the syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Volume 68. Uh, now let's see. Uh, from the top, that's Abigail and Bernice and my nephew, Ronald. Uh, no, that's not my sister Mary's Ronald. It's my sister Sally's Ronald. You can tell me how to move on that. 
Oh, uh, excuse me. Shep, empty that nose. We're waiting for George. <sighs> no, that's Louisa from Ann Arbor, not Louisiana. Goodness, my writing is a poor. W would you like a pillow, dear? Huh? Oh, yes! And I've got a great one at my house. I told you my hair would get frizzy. You know what's really good? Yes! Food is really good! Especially when it's been sitting in front of me for an hour and a half! <laughs> Feels better? Magnolia? You were saying? Get it closer! Better watch out for that! Snake trap! George's head, have to swing to that tree. Ugh. Hello, I was walking there. Oh, oh, you eat vines, right? You should try the one around my ankle. Oh, it's real tasty. Yum, yum. Looks dry. Oh, no, it's not. It's covered in George's ankle sweat. Here, Waggy. <laughs> oh, one mouth, right here. Ah. Uh. Fly right on in. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Look, we promised George we'd wait. <gasps> what if he's fallen down a well somewhere? Whoa! And he's hurt. Ow! And what if he can't remember who he is? I'm the king of Spain. He could be trapped down there forever. Then we never eat. Let's go. Thanks, Mr. Caterpillar. Friends and pancakes waiting. George is back. Thanks for waiting. Hey, something missing. What do you mean the lions quit? I told them they couldn't eat their co-stars. Well, get them back and tell them they can eat as many actors as they want after the play closes. Could we do it without them? The place called a cry for help. Without lions roaring, it's just crazy animals running and screaming. Okay, who can do a lion roar? Me, me, me! I was in Yeah, guys. yeah, we know. Yeah, fine. Impress me. <clears throat> roar! Hmm. You stink. That's it! That's perfect! I didn't know your stomach could act. Look, we're desperate to find George. Wait, is there a life and death emergency? Yes, we haven't had breakfast. Ah, oh, great, more starving actors. What's he saying? He wants our stomachs in the play. Our stomachs? That's crazy. What's that? The cast snack table, I believe. Where do I stand? Line, please! Oh, feel bad telling friends not to eat breakfast without George. Hey, food isn't breakfast anymore. It's soggy, disgusting dinner! Luckily, no lions prowl the jungle tonight. Food! I think we outran them. Thanks to our friendship and bravery, 
and these mutant destructo robots, we will never have to fear lions ever again. Finally, let's hit the catering table. Boy, you guys missed a great rap party. <sighs> Wonder where George's friends are. Oh. 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 Hey, guys, oh. you're back. Oh. I saved your breakfast. You can have it for dinner. I hope you didn't eat. Oh. Wow, you've eaten everything except the dirt under my feet. <laughs> That was the worst ending ever. Who writes this stuff? Sheesh! <laughs> <laughs>